Well, it's Sydney Race Day, and uh, with me is the Chief Minister. We were going to maybe have a chat today, but I don't think we were going to expect this chat we're now going to yeah. do, which I know you've been asked your opinion about what's been happening in the UK. So you've been up all night looking yeah, at your so eyes. I'm yeah? feeling it too, Paul. <laughs> I mean, who could, who could believe what we saw there? Hey? Yeah, I, I must admit, I wasn't expecting it. I genuinely thought they'd have a small majority, but what's happened has happened. There's, and, you know, as a government, we, we deal with um, whoever forms a government now. I'm led to believe at 12.30 today, the Prime Minister Mr. Theresa May will be going to see the Queen as she will be forming a minority government with the support of the DUP who have 10 seats and that takes her over the threshold. And what counts Brexit could now be pushed back. I mean, well, all bets are off almost at the minute. It's, it's a fast moving story. Good or bad for us? Well, we always play it neutral and we work with whoever's in charge. I, I think in, in a way, ironically, the, um, the Prime Minister will have to handle affairs more like the Isle of Man has to do by consensus because with a small majority with having to use the DUP she will have to take all factions of the party's views on to, into consideration when she's going forward. Of course there's nothing we can do, I mean it, you know, the Isle of Man is not a big part of this whole thing, we, get, we just go with the flow but I suppose it's uncertainty amongst other things isn't it, what's going to go on? Yeah well some of the good contacts we've got have been re-elected, it, it was sad to see a couple of our friends who've asked questions on the island's behalf on the House of Commons. When the Justice Committee came over to the Isle of Man, Richard Arkless, the SNP member for Dumfries and Galloway, asked a question on our behalf for me uh, on, regarding the Isle of Man being involved with negotiations on Brexit. So you lose a good friend like that, but as I say, quite a few of the Isle of Man's friends, they're re-elected, and it's my job to make sure the new people get elected, they're made aware of the island's situation and they're supportive of the island. OK, let's move to what we were going to talk about, the TT and... Yeah. Uh, uh, and, the, and the government's stance on this thing. I, I obviously did uh, Mr. Callister yesterday. Um, since then, of course, the, the death toll has increased, and, and this always has to come back to, you know, what, what part should the Ireland government be doing, putting on an event like this? Well, I think it, yeah, you have to say it's, it's been going on for over a hundred years, Paul. Now it, it's part you could say part of the island's DNA. DNA. It's it's special. It's unique. You can't justify anything to do with death, though, surely. Well, what do you do? Do you, do you say right? We're going to ban people from the Alaman going to climb mountains, Everest, for example. There's more people kill climbing Everest, I think, or similar numbers than than the TT. And you know, I think other... you know what I'm saying. It would have been a Vision Nine problem. It would have been a private sector problem. It's now back. Well, it's truly with you. Isn't it? Well, I, I think that the fact that government are working with. The, there's an awful lot of goodwill goes into the TT, and, and I think government taking, con, you know, keeping control for a number of years going forward is probably a good thing for the time being while we settle down. An awful lot of people give their time free, and if they feel it's run by the government and it's for the benefit of the people of the Isle of Man and the biking community, then they, they feel happy with that. But, yeah, government does its best to make sure it's as safe as possible. There's the helicopter service, the extra air Do you bales. Like it yourself? Yeah, I, I, I've always supported it. I know you've been up here almost every day. That's probably a press in the flesh. Yeah. scenarios was it more than anything well it is uh, that's that's for business an awful lot of business has done up here but I, I I've supported it all my life I grew up at top of Bagarrow Hill and I've, I've watched all the greats going going past it's it's sad it's deeply regrettable when someone is killed and you, your heart goes out to the family uh, that are involved and I, I've got friends and contacts who, who've lost loved ones but at the end of the day as, as, a, as a human race we, we want to push ourselves and challenge ourselves and, and should we stop everything that's got the slightest bit of danger Paul in, yeah. in life. It's still quite almost incredible that here when someone dies it almost hardly makes the news these days. It is, it's so like the racing is bigger than someone's death whereas other places it will be cancelled or there'll be a, some changes made here we'd like to just go straight on. Well I, I, I wouldn't say it, 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 it's put to one side it, it's dealt very seriously and as I say, there's the respect, obviously, for the families involved. So no, I, I don't think it has pushed to one side, Paul, but it's sadly, it, it, it happens well, we had, and we know it will happen. We had a couple of races where someone was being treated on the side of the road and the races didn't even stop. Well, that was at the choice of the, the medics. Yeah. There was, that wasn't, oh, the race must carry on, he's got to stay there. It, it was made clear from day one at any time they could have moved the person. It was just the medical opinion was it was better where he was being stabilised before they moved him. Now, Ms Scullis was saying yesterday about we must find out exactly how much you make out of this event and how much it costs, because it always seems 
well, you can't exactly. I'm sure quite anything exactly on this one. Are you comfortable that this is done for the right reasons? Then, or is it is it making money for the government? Or you know, how how do you, how do you put this in your head? This one. Well, it's. It's making it makes money for the people of the Isle of Man. You know, the government is, are the people of the Isle of Man, and they're we're here to represent them. But equally, it's I, I, I genuinely believe that as a society, if we wrap everyone up with cotton wool and and take away the risk in life, what's the point in being alive? And you, you know, I'm not trying to downplay the danger. It's, it's, it's a dangerous event. If you're going down the road at 200 miles an hour. You, 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 there is a chance you're going to, be, you could be seriously injured. But well, I mean, in the past, the coroners have actually said, you know, you shouldn't be doing this sort of thing. Not recently, I, I can't think, but I, mean, I know in the past, it's yeah. one of these things that anyone that takes part in this should think very carefully about it. But, but then, motor, motor racing, as I say, cl mm. climbing Everest, all these things come with a danger. Do, do we say we're not going to have horse racing anymore because occasionally a jockey gets killed? Okay, okay. Let's talk. So on the positive thing, the week's yeah. been interesting. Obviously, weather has been a major fa factor. Have you learned any lessons? I mean, this is your first time as chief minister here, isn't it? So yeah, it's, it's my. Is it, have, have you seen things differently? I, I have. I mean, I used to come up. As the, the before as the health and social care minister, and then as a backbencher, my, I, I have an awful lot more work now. Everyone wants to see the chief minister, and if you're a local business and you've brought over a top contact to do a business deal, having the chief minister around, you know, if, if I can help in any way, help them secure that deal, then I I, I will and, and do so. I, I spend an awful lot of my time now helping out in with the business community up at the grandstand. Okay, well. To leave this, I've now got to produce a picture I took the other day because you say you like to press the flesh. You were getting down with the, uh, the governor of the Isle of Man with Carl Cox. You know that picture oh, I took right. of you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So we'll leave you with you and a, a hip hop DJ. Yes. New, new trendy Howard, not. <laughs>